Welcome everyone to another developer update. I am Jeff from the Overwatch team and I'm here to talk about season six. So competitive play has been going great, but we've been listening to a lot of feedback and we're constantly making changes and iterations to our competitive play to keep it as fun and refreshing as possible for you guys. So I'm pretty excited to talk about some big new changes that are coming to competitive play for season six. The biggest change that you're gonna notice right away is we're going to try something brand new, which is we're going to move the season to a two month season rather than a three month season that we usually do. And you might be wondering, well, why are you making this change? There's a number of reasons. At, at first, when we were testing competitive play in the beta, and, and not a lot of you were there playing with us at the time, we tried one month seasons and we got overwhelming feedback that this was just way too fast and there didn't feel like there was enough significant time for you to earn the rank that you believe that you should be at and stay at that rank. So we implemented, when we, when we went back with our competitive play mode, we implemented three month seasons. I think this has been pretty good overall, but what we've seen both in feedback and in statistical play from players is that engagement is a lot higher at the beginning of the season. And there's also a perception that the games early on in the season are more competitive, people are trying a lot harder, and things feel a lot more fun. You're trying to earn that rank. So we're going to at least try for a while two month seasons and see how everybody feels about that. So we think that will give you that fun placement period back uh, more frequently. And also you will get your competitive rewards more frequently. Now we've made some changes to competitive points to compensate for the, the seasons being shorter. So your totals at the end of the season aren't quite as big as they used to be, but overall for the year, you should be roughly getting about the same amount. And then we're also giving you more competitive points per win in competitive play starting in season six. So that should feel pretty good. Now, there are a lot of other changes coming too. One of the top complaints that I hear when I read the forums or I check social media is that players are unhappy with how skill rating decay works if you are diamond or above. And so we're gonna make some minor tweaks here Nothing too groundbreaking, but instead of seven games played per week, we're gonna require five. So we're gonna reduce that a little bit, which should make things feel a little bit better. And then also, if you do hit a moment when you decay, rather than having you decay by 50 skill rating, we're gonna have that and have you decay by 25 skill rating. So it should be a little bit less of a sting. Now, unfortunately, at the high levels of play, skill rating decay is kind of required because it prevents a lot of um, sort of undesired behaviors that we see if it's not there. For the long term, we have other ideas to fight against the need for skill rating decay, but for season six, we feel like this reduction will make it feel a little bit better than what you guys have felt in season uh, four and five, for example. Now, there's some other changes coming to competitive play that I think uh, will be welcome, or I hope that they're welcome, which is a change to the way control maps work. Right now, control maps are a best out of five that we'll play. So somebody has to win three control points on control in competitive play in order to, to win the match. We've noticed that an inordinate number of these matches are going into overtime. We're seeing lots of 99 to 99% um, holds on control and a lot of five point maps and matches taking place. And this is resulting in very long match times. When we look at assault, hybrid, and escort compared to control, we were really surprised to see that control was sort of an outlier in terms of how long matches were taking. To solve this for season six, the control maps will be a best out of three. So whoever wins two, just like in quick play, will win the match. This will get you into more matches sooner rather than later. This will make you know losing a control map sting less, especially you know right now in season five, it really stings when your team goes five full points and maybe loses in overtime. 
um, it's kind of devastating, um, and we want those moments to go a little bit faster. So that change to control is coming. We think that will feel great. The other thing we're doing for season six is we're changing how placements work to try to place you more accurately where you belong. In seasons four and five, we were doing some experimentation where we're actually placing you a little bit lower than where your skill rating should have been. And we were allowing you to climb a little bit more earlier in the season to just make you feel better about progressing. The problem was this didn't work for everybody. For a lot of people, what would happen is they would end season four, for example, at maybe diamond uh, skill rating. And then they would go and do their placements in season five and they'd end up in platinum and they'd end up feeling pretty bad thinking to themselves, well, hey, I was diamond last season. You know, how come I'm so far off? And even though we knew under the hood that person was gonna work their way back to diamond, it felt wrong deflating you on purpose just so you would have a sense of progression later. So we've done away with that system in season six. You should place more or less accurately to where your skill rating should be. That's not a guarantee that if you were at platinum in season five, you'll definitely be platinum in season six. It just means that you're more likely to be placed um, at an accurate skill rating. So we think that change should feel pretty good as well. Um, other than that, there are some changes coming to the matchmaker that not everybody will feel, but I, I think it's important to mention it to some people. Our high skilled players in particular have more matchmaking issues than anybody else because there are, are far fewer of you out there. We have decided that it is okay for you to wait a little bit longer to get matches that we feel will be better for you. This will actually benefit everybody because we have a pretty good sense right now when we put you in a match, um, how close to 50-50 that match is. And what we really wanna do is avoid putting you in matches that don't have as close to a 50-50 chance of, of either team winning. So this does mean that in particular for highly skilled players, you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer to put you in a, in a better match. That means you won't get put in matches where you stomp the other team and gain like a really tiny bit of skill rating. And it also means that those of us that are a little bit lower skill rating than those, those high skill rating players um, hopefully won't be getting uh, stomped by those teams uh, quite as much. Um, hopefully it's not super noticeable to most of us, and hopefully it's a lot of fun this, this, despite the fact that you might have to wait for a long time. If we sense that wait times are out of control or the matchmaking is not you know, doing everything that we want it to do, don't worry, we will jump in there and make changes. It's something we're watching very closely. All in all, you have to know that the competitive play mode is an ongoing process. We are never going to just let it stagnate. We, were, we will always keep trying changes and trying to make it better. We know that it's an extremely important part of the game, if not the most important part of the game, where players feel like they can find the truest, most honest competitive matches, and we want to keep it evolving over time. We think that the changes that I mentioned will greatly benefit everybody for season six. We think there, there will be an overall improvement in season six, but you need to know that we're already talking about further changes for season seven and eight. So it's something we're really thinking about and we're trying to be very proactive about. What's going to be very beneficial to us though is hearing your feedback on what you think about these changes in season six are accomplishing. Are they working? Are they not working? I know you guys will be vocal with us. I know you'll be clear in your feedback. So we really look forward to what you have to say. And we hope to keep making competitive play great. So thanks for listening to our changes that are coming up. And I hope you all place extremely high in season six. Thanks.